This is the story of a wildlife mystery so big it's jumbo sized. Almost nothing was known about these unusual elephants until now. They were recently discovered to be unique to the tropical island of Borneo. Then came news that their survival is in peril. And now the race is on. Many found nowhere else in the world. Living on an island means that animals here have evolved into wonderful and unique forms. The largest of them are its pygmy elephants. They are rare and elusive and mysterious. Until now, it was thought that they had descended from domesticated elephants introduced to Borneo only 300 years ago as gifts to local sultans, and that these had escaped and gone wild and become a pest. The forest has been cut down for oil palm plantations. Could they block elephant migration? It's off. A sign. Butterflies are attracted by the salt and minerals in fresh urine. This means the elephants are just a few minutes ahead. The bull makes a distinctive whistling sound, advertising his extreme arousal. The smell from the oozing musk gland on his head is overpowering. Whether this strong smell is attractive to females, no one knows. But soon he is mating. few have ever been this close to Borneo's elephant. Scientists believe they walked here during an ice age when sea levels were lower. But why are they found only in northeastern Sabah? There is a mountain range that blocks much of Sabah from the rest of Borneo, but not all. There must be another reason. It seems the answer is because this area has something that elephants need. Good soil, rich in minerals. Here lie the highest concentration of minerals in Borneo. And when not supping on mud, they eat more than 160 different kinds of plants. Males with long tusks have an expert way to dig them out. They also have a passion for fruit, especially figs. The family can find ripening figs at any time of year. But on this tree, most of the fruit is out of reach. An orangutan and her young baby have it all to themselves. But this female is determined to get some. She may have to rely on the generosity of the orangutan. 
Finding figs is hard work in this heat. After a that is, until the day when Flora approaches. The mothers and aunties show him the youngest baby. They're very protective. Always playing with something. The big female leader also accepts me. I call her Fern. I feel I'm part of her family now. It's like she's in charge. Perhaps she is a future leader. Fern is spending more time on her own. <coughs> Elephants love to touch one another. If not by trunk, then they body touch. <coughs> A young female, maybe her daughter, shows great interest in Fern's condition. Her sensitive trunk finds the milk which Fern has begun to bring. She's so close to giving birth. She's already like baking. Then the two young elephants crouch down and suckle her. It is an amazing sight. I have read that young Asian elephants can't put feet for up to five years. But this one must be even older. Bert's patience has earned their trust. The family often crosses the Kinab Tongan River. But one night, instead of continuing downstream as they have been for the past few days, they move back upstream. Except the elephants will enjoy the cooler temperatures. Great plantations of oil palm trees now stretch across their migration. In some places, the natural forest has been removed right down onto the riverbank. If elephants cannot follow the river, they must detour around plantations. Changes like this increasingly bring elephants and people together. Until recently, elephants were too shy to enter the villages. Now they have no choice. 
the plantations force them to divert from their migration. All except one, a bull that's been shadowing the family. He decides to help himself to the banana crop. Lone bulls often cause trouble. They're driven mainly by lust and hunger. The villagers won't tolerate this kind of destruction and have ways to scare off the elephants. And it's not going to be easy. The elephants have headed into swampland. To keep cool, Flora is mud bathing. But Feisty's determined to have his turn. Flora cleans the mud from the same lanes between her toes. Elephant always keep this very clean. Elephants have an even stronger sense of smell than dog. Their trunks constantly explore the world around them. to blow away any bothersome insects. She wants to sleep, but the mother... Now that it is cooler, the females want to go to the river, but the baby wants to stay. At first, I wonder, is she sick? But then, I realize that she is just very young and very tired. She's also hungry. I call the baby Faith. Baby Fig is in no hurry to go anywhere. After a drink, she just wants to get back to sleep. Bring 200 liters every day. Is this why Fern comes to the swamp to have a baby? So that she has plenty of water. Flora, too, is having a good time. But all her frolicking wakes the baby. And now, with the baby roused, Fern signals the family to move. Feisty and Flora will have to finish their water sports another time. As they move up, finally the family gets to cool off by the river. It's probably the first time they've been here since Fig was born. Now Fig meets the river that will run through the center of her life. She may still be drinking and swimming here 70 years from now.
Flora's life could be considerably shorter if she can't get feisty off her back. Logging barges are a sure sign that the pygmy elephant's world is changing fast. The logs come from forest where the elephants once fed. This area will soon become... As Bert is discovering, this family's traditional migration route is being destroyed by villages, plantations, and now this cleared forest. I worry about this family. Even a logging camp has plenty to interest a curious elephant. Fern's trumpet means it's time to go. At least for now, the family can continue on its journey. Restless. They continue feeding. Elephants eat for up to 16 hours a day. Then I see Flora, feisty, fake, all my family. But there are many others too. There could be 50 elephants here from several families. Some wounds carry a certain death sentence. Infection is likely. Perhaps gangrene has already set in. But a rope tied tightly around the limb will never come off. It's made of tough synthetic strands that won't rot. Elephants are destined to carry them for the rest of their lives, unless they can be rescued. ever be in doubt of the elephant's way. The elephant learns a great deal in its first few years. Fig will learn the family migration trails and where they now cannot go. The satellite data confirms Bert's discovery that his elephant family needs this land. But there is hope. Saba's government is now working with oil palm plantations to protect and replant the riverside forest, turning it into a corridor of life for the migrating elephants. Back him. I think one day Floro will be the matriarch. I hope she will be the one to lead the family into the future. Flora, Feisty, Fig, and all the others in this remarkable elephant family have inspired the people of Saba to save them. 